Hey guys, I'm Chris Hudson from Hudson Lighting and today we're going to machine some 316 stainless steel recess lights on the Nakamura lathe and we're going to get on and assemble them to Husky Renovations for a project that's quite local to us. So stay tuned. So guys, I'm sure you can tell from the time lapse of me putting the tools in there, it was a bit of a pain, it didn't quite go 100% together. But we got it there in the end, so we've got these great parts now coming off. There's a little bit of tooling marks from the subspindle grab. Uh, so we're cleaning those up with just a little, little rubber 1200 grit paper on there, and they're, they're absolutely perfect. So this is now running, so we'll let it uh, do all of our parts, and we'll come back when we're ready to switch over. Okay guys, uh, so now I'm going to get on and actually do the do the build portion. Um, it's pretty simple really, so essentially we have our recessed back, our protection circuit goes through there, and I need some short leads, I'm especially requested to be short so we didn't waste loads of cable. Um, so there's our protection circuit going in, nice and easy, uh, we've got, we meant to have some uh, 14 by 1 o rings on the outside. Just give that a little spray. There we go. Then we have our white paste, which is a heat sink paste that goes on the inner edge. Go in. And then our heat sink plate, which just pops in there and rotates. Now, 
I like to, to make sure that these go in properly, I take them to the surface and push them down. There we go. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> uh, now at this point, normally I'd have paste coming out of this, but the air's been turned off because in the day and everyone has now gone. Uh, so I'm just literally just doing this. There's no air, no lathes, no anything in here. Um, so this LED now plugs in. It says as if it's going to be nice and easy. It should be. It's just literally just at one of the pins. There we go. So that goes on there. Right, so here's a separator plate. So that pops on there. So that's now ready to go. Oh, I've just forgotten. We need two lenses. Okay, so we've got our lens. These just pop in nice and straight. And then I use this little insertion tool. Pop that down. We're in. And then separate the plate on there. Optic, top, screw it together. And that is our fitting built. Super simple. So before tank testing these, um, what we need to do is just touch test them, make sure that they're um, working. So I'm gonna sub subject them to a whole tank test and find out that the LEDs don't actually work. Um, so this just cycles through as you can see the um, white and the red there and um, just confirms that both sides actually work. So now we can actually put them in the tank for water testing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a little bit of something about how we actually build and manufacture some of these. There's just a little bit more every time we do one of these videos just to kind of give you a little bit of kind of how it all goes together. Um, but it's simple, the LEDs are usually replaceable. If that's all the parts are, um, that's the idea of it all screwing together and we will, you know, beyond the warranty period, actually provide replacement parts as we need to. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. See you soon. Bye.